Hello and welcome to this semester's very last episode of IE News. But don't be upset, we have a very special show for you today. As you may know, the 37th annual Toyota Grand Prix of Long Beach went down not too long ago and IE News was there to capture all the fun. We will be bringing you inside coverage of the Big Race Weekend with exclusive driver and celebrity interviews. A look at the intense drifting event, a beauty contest, and much, much more. So put on those seat belts and strap in for a high octane episode of IE News. Stay tuned. Welcome back. Before the Grand Prix weekend starts every year, there is a huge party down on Pine Street. Our very own reporter, Keith Jacon, was there to capture the event. Hi, I'm Keith Jacon for IE News, and I'm here at FMX 2011, here at the Thunder on Pine for the Long Beach Grand Prix. Thousands of people have shown up. I'm so close to the action, it's incredible. Let's check it out. Thursday the 14th marked the beginning of the Long Beach Grand Prix with the annual kickoff party. Electricity was in the air as the high-octane activities captivated the crowds. As I walked through the crowds, I got a chance to stop by and talk to a few first-timers. The Le Mans races. I've been a fan of Le Mans races since I was, like, a midget, and now I'm, I'm excited to be here. It's my first year. I just like to check out the cars. <laughs> Have you ever been here before? No, never in my life. Uh, it's my first year, and uh, hopefully I, I will come again. <laughs> I grew up in Orange County and I've never been to this Thunder Thursday, so it's my first time. I have three times. We, yeah. we have not. We have not. It's your first time for this, yeah. Um, mostly when the motorcycles are jumping over. But this is actually the first time on a Thursday. I usually attend Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, but the first time I'm able to get out of work and Thursday. Today is fun. Yeah, yeah it's really not a lot of things going on. I didn't realize they had this, so if yeah. I would have known, I would have kept earlier. Well, tonight I'm looking forward to seeing my niece <laughs> in the uh, Miss Toyota Grand Prix pageant. And I'm also looking forward to the uh, race coming up. Well, that about wraps up the FMX and car shows. I'm Keith Chacon for IE News. Thanks, Keith. The 8th Annual Tecate Girls Beauty Contest went off with a bang as our very own reporters Chris Johnson and Keith Chacon covered the event. Good evening. We're here at the 2011 Miss Sicate pageant at Thunder on Pine for the Long Beach Grand Prix. And might I say, the girls, well, they're going to look beautiful tonight. That's right. We're about to kick it off right now. We're going to find out who's going to be crowned Miss 2011 Miss Sicate. The ladies filed out one at a time to be judged. And might I say, they looked fantastic. I had a chance to speak to the winner of the Miss Sicate pageant 2011, as well as the first and second runners-up. It feels fantastic. I have actually competed in this pageant for three years. This is my third try. I actually took a break for about four or five years, and I was wondering, you know, I've aged a couple of years. Can I still hang in there with the young ones? But uh, it worked out, you know. Age is just a number. Oh, absolutely. I've been working here as a physician in Long Beach for the past 10 years. So I'm very rooted here in Long Beach, and I am very proud to be able to represent the Grand Prix of Long Beach, which is such a great tradition in the city. You know, when you, I think every time you're just about to step on stage, there's a little bit of the nerve factor, but it actually helps because it helps get you psyched up. And then once you step out there, you feel the pride in what you've been doing and who you are. And I think that's what you rely on to, to get you through any possible nerves. <laughs> I feel great. I'm really excited. I'm really honored to be part of all this. And um, first runner-up is awesome. <laughs> And how about you? Me? You? I feel fantastic. You know, this was a great experience, and I'm very excited for the races this weekend. I get nervous beforehand. Once I'm up here, I'm good. But beforehand, I kind of psych myself out. And how about you? Do you get nervous? Absolutely. I was terrified of falling, but I'm really <laughs> glad that I did it. <laughs> and everything turned out great. <laughs> I'm Keith Chacon. And I'm Chris Johnson. Back to you. Thanks, guys. Now let's go back to Keith. 
so he can tell us a little bit about the on-track activity that happened between races. There were several activities that took place throughout the weekend of this year's race. However, there were only a select few that certain VIPs like myself were able to participate in. I got a chance to speak with the head mechanic and owner of three of the Indy race cars for this year's competition, Don Kennedy. Okay, yeah, we're with the what's called the Indy Racing Experience, and what we do is we come to each event to try to drum up the excitement so we actually have media people come and take rides and we give uh, celebrities rides and then we actually can sell some rides at each event. So we usually come in the day before to try to get things going and try to get people talking about the Indy cars coming to the town. How long has this organization been around for? We've been running the cars since 2001. That was actually our first year with the new cars. We kind of did a proof of concept in 2000 to make sure everybody believed it would work. Now, is it any licensed driver can get behind the wheel of one of these things, or do you have to have special qualifications to drive one of these? Well, the actual two-seaters require, by the contract that we have with the IndyCar series, we have to have licensed IRL drivers actually driving the car, IndyCar drivers, I should say. <clears throat> because the Indy Lights guys can't drive it. One of these unique two-seater Indy cars was used in a special on-track activity where VIPs were given the chance to experience what few people do in a lifetime. The adrenaline rush of taking to the track in a real Indy race car. The Grand Marshal Gordon Ramsay stopped by to talk to us about his expectations before taking it to the track. I'm very excited to be asked to become the Grand Marshal today. An amazing circuit. I mean, last time I got this excited about the race was Monaco, so uh, yeah, I mean, the vibe is great. We're about to go around in that two-seater, so I'll get a great insight to the sort of curves, exits, and, 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 and a thrill. Any kind of preparations you took before coming today? Uh, do you know what? We had the drivers at Hell's Kitchen uh, two nights ago on the chef table, so it was just nice to see uh, them in my world, and now to step into their world today, yeah, I'm really excited. It's all down to fingertip control. Now, lastly, how does it feel going from the heat of the kitchen to the heat of the racetrack. Yeah, do you know what? I mean, chefs and drivers are control freaks, but they're only as good as the team behind them. So, uh, yeah, a lot of synergy there, and I'm really excited. Thank you so much, Gordon. You're Appreciate welcome. that. Best wishes. I also spoke to Patrick Warburton, the voice of Joe on the popular Fox television show Family Guy. Patrick, how's it feel being the 2011 Toyota Grand Prix of Long Beach? Oh, blast. Yeah, I've been down here a few years, and uh, it's, uh, it's always a good time. First time behind a race car? Uh, no, but the first time in, a, in an open wheel. Any other precautions or specifications you took place today before coming today? Precautions. precautions. Uh, I had two cups of coffee and ate a big meal. I, that's pretty much the regular program. Wonderful. So are you excited about the uh, being in the car, or are they going to let you get behind the wheel, or are you still going to be the passenger the whole time? I think you know the answer to that. <laughs> Right yeah, on. no, today, uh, riding shotgun. Yeah. Thank you so much, Patrick. We appreciate your time. Pleasure. The activities that took place today were exciting and truly catered for very important people. For IE News, I'm Keith Chacon. Thanks again, Keith. Drifting was one of the most popular events during the Grand Prix, and IE News reporter Kana Kashiwadani has the inside scoop. I'm here inside of the Lifestyle Expo. These cars around me are about to compete in the drifting challenge. Let's check it out. For the past few years, the drifters have been coming out to compete in a competition that demonstrates their skills while warming up the crowd for the main race. We get a chance to speak to the winners of this drifting competition. I feel great. It's the uh, first year that I'm actually participating in the team drift um, competition in Long Beach Grand Prix. So uh, our team, Team Mazda, actually won first place. So I'm super happy about it. And, uh, you know, everyone worked hard this whole weekend. And I'm very thankful for everybody. And uh, thanks for the team, Evasive Motorsport, uh, Nitto Tires. And, um, yeah, I'm just really thankful and, yeah, happy. <laughs> um, it takes a lot, of, a lot of dedication for the team. Like uh, my team manager Ron Bergenholz, he's been working hard out of the, you know, out of the shop, two car garage, you know, Bergenholz Racing, and uh, pretty much preparing the car to be tip top uh, each event for Formula D. So uh, yeah, just a lot of dedication and team effort, and obviously um, can't do it without all of our partners like Full Tilt, Mazda, Needle Tire, Genius Tool, Lucas Oil, 
the list goes on, you know, needle tire, ink, inky wheels, you know. So, um, yeah, I mean, we got to thank them and our fans, you know. Our fans, you know, they always inspire us and uh, keep us going. So, yeah, I'm very grateful for such an amazing support amongst everybody around us. Oh, it's just fantastic, you know. We were on Team Mazda. I was driving my next entire Mazda Trix, Mazda RX-8, and uh, June was in his Mazda RX-8, and uh, Charles Ng was in his Mazda RX-7. So we're really happy to win this for uh, Mazda and uh, everybody that's helped us out so much. So it's fantastic. I've been trying for four years to win this event, and uh, it's great to win it with friends, June's, June and Charles. So it's a very happy day for us. Yeah, you plan to come next year? Oh yeah, absolutely. We'll be back down again. Um, you know, Long Beach is my hometown, so I love coming down to this event. Uh, we've got a lot of local support, and uh, it's just great. I work for Mazda Tricks up in Signal Hill, so we have a lot of friends and family, and it feels great to win. In the end, the fans get a great show and an opportunity to see Superior driving at its best. Team Mazda took home the win at this year's Team Drifting Challenge with a spectacular display of precision driving. I can't wait to see how they do next year. I'm Kanaka Shiwarani for IE News. So you're fresh out of high school, or maybe just recently lost your job, wondering where to go from here. You're listening to the radio and watching a little TV, when it hits you, a career in the entertainment industry. Well, swing on down to Long Beach City College and enroll yourself into the radio television program and make your dreams come true today. At Long Beach City College, where the sky's the limit. Welcome back. As usual, there was live music the first two days of the Grand Prix weekend. Reporter Keith Chacon was there to cover this rocking event. I'm backstage at the Rock and Roar concert 2011 at the Toyota Grand Prix of Long Beach. Steppenwolf just went on stage. They're already rocking the concert, melting faces. Listen, I'm going to go see what the crowd thinks about this. You enjoy the show. What have you been enjoying so far at the Grand Prix? Well, you know what? I don't know where to begin. Today's been a fabulous day. We just drove out from the desert. We spent two and a half hours driving in the car because of traffic. But we left the Coachella Fest to come out here to watch the Le Mans Indy Race. And it has been fabulous. It has been absolutely, we ate at Bubba Gump's. That was debatable, but we drank a lot. And uh, the grace was incredible. Is this their first Grand Prix that they performed at? Yes, the band's been together 45 years, but it's the first Grand Prix, at least in the last 20 years. Now, aside from a great concert, how have you been enjoying the Grand Prix? Well, I've been in Portland, Oregon the last three days. It's cold and rainy every day. And to come here in this warm weather has just been a, a really exciting change of pace. We love it. Where's Steppenwolf going from here? We go, uh, our next show will be a Cinco de Mayo show up in uh, Dixon, California, which is up near Sacramento. Now, is this a continuing tour, or do they just do a couple cities? Well, we're kind of semi-retired these days. We only do about 10 or 12 shows a year. So this is the first show of the year. So we've got shows booked through the summer and into early December. After the show, I was able to speak with the rock legends themselves as they made their way off the stage. Well, we always play our old tunes because that's what we know and that's what they like. Where are you guys headed from here? Uh, home to Vancouver. Hey. That was an incredible show. How did, you, how did it feel playing some of your old hits? Oh, great, great, great. It's fantastic. Great. Just love it. Where are you guys headed from here? Back to Nashville and then on and on and on. Yeah. Wonderful. Thank you for joining but, us. But you know, yeah, yeah. Steppenwolf's kind of like an American institution, like Chevrolet or Harley Davidson. It just kind of goes on and on. It, it just doesn't die. It goes faster, you know. Yeah. Thanks. Thank Appreciate you. it. Incredible set. How did it Thank feel you. playing some of your old hits? Oh, it's phenomenal. I love it. I absolutely love it. I grew up on that stuff. So, it's beautiful. Where are you guys headed from here? Uh, let's see. What are we doing? We're doing Dixon, California, in two weeks and we're playing a special thing for the opening of the Born to be Wild movie in San Diego after that. And we got about maybe 12 or 14 books so far this year, but 
Any more uh, new material coming out anytime soon from The Wolf? I can't say. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Appreciate it. The Rock and Roll Concert 2011 has been spectacular. Steppenwolf just finished their set. Oh, God, I am completely amazed and blown away. We got to talk to the crowd. Everybody is having a great time. We met people from all over the world tonight. It's only day two. One day left. I'm Keith Chacon for IE News. Thanks, Keith. Every year, a local Long Beach company holds a Grand Prix party, and once again, Keith Chacon was there to get some insight. I'm directly across the street from the Long Beach Grand Prix, right in front of the International City Bank building, where inside is a full-service marketing and advertising business that hosts a party every year for the Grand Prix. We'll go inside and find out what this is all about. Now, Reagan, here at Insteo, what exactly goes on in this company? Well, we've got uh, some innovative technology here that we're really proud of recently uh, with digital signage. And what we do is stream live social networks via digital signage um, with Flickr and Facebook and Foursquare, allowing a certain venue, a certain event to allow the uh, attendees or the customers to engage them, connect them, and reward them through social media. Is it more so advertisement or something else? It's, uh, it, it, it's a social media platform that is going to reward uh, those who engage at a certain location. If you're at a restaurant, it's uh, using your mobile phone to interact with your social media up to the sign on the digital screen of, of what we have here. And uh, you get a buzz back to your phone with a certain reward. There's data capturing for the clients on the other side. Um, so it uh, absolutely builds their marketing database and, and, and their brand awareness. Now, what exactly is your per, uh, position here, Reagan? I'm the VP of Business Development, so I'm uh, responsible for uh, the sales exposure and, uh, and business process going on here. And your company has been around for how, how long? We've been here, around here since 2004, and we also have an agency side to our business. And uh, we have uh, done a lot of uh, print, print-on-demand, marketing, advertising, rebranding. So we have that side to our, our, our company as well, but uh, we're really taking a push towards this new innovative digital signage. Now, Reagan, I, I notice you have several awards here in, in the building. I, can you tell me a little bit about these awards that you, you won, apparently? There's numerous. We've, uh, the, uh, the most recent one is from the Digital Signage Expo just a couple months ago. We were nominated for a Digital Content Award for one of our sports bars, and uh, we won an award for that. Other awards that we have done are for uh, video production that we've done, marketing, advertising that we've done locally here in Long Beach. Um, and uh, yeah, we're, we're very proud of those. And we've, we've got a great team here that, uh, that has provided us those. Wonderful. Now, it's Grand Prix weekend. I noticed that you have around the office, there's decorations, you're, there's food, there's a little office party. Can you little, elaborate on that? I mean, do you guys celebrate annually for the Grand Prix? Every year we have, uh, we actually have clients contacting us uh, months before asking us when the Grand Prix is and, you know, or they, they know when the Grand Prix party is going to be and so they're asking us um, when our party is. We, every year we have an open house and we invite all of our clients, we invite uh, clients' friends, uh, family and friends and uh, we open it up the, every Friday of race day. And um, we have a full, uh, full lunch here, full drinks, full uh, advertisement. We walk people through uh, the office. We show them what we do. Uh, it's a great way for uh, networking to take place as well. Everyone brings their business cards and uh, leaves with a whole, whole bunch more contacts that they have. Um, and then we provide free entry for all those that come in here to our office on race day to go across the street. It's literally across the street from us, and we've got a, a great view here, and uh, it gets loud here every once in a while as well on Fridays and race day, so it's fun. So is this, is this open to the public, or is this strictly clientele? Um, it's uh, strictly by invite. Um, and so uh, we use, uh, again, social media to advertise. We uh, have gone green, and we didn't do any print or anything for our advertising. We did nothing but social media and social networking to invite people and uh, get exposure for our open house, and we've got an overwhelming response. So social networking does work. Uh, it does take some time, and uh, we love it. We, we're we're saving, uh, saving the environment at the same time. That's wonderful. When all was said and done, the party was a complete success. Good drinks, good food, and good times. If you'd like to learn more about Insteo, you can visit their website at www.insteo.com. Or you can call their offices at 562-624-0100.
For IE News, I'm Keith Chacon. Thank you so much, Keith. When we come back, we will have highlights of the main race and a look at the Lifestyle Expo, so stay tuned. Hey, loser! Me? Yeah, you. Do you want to learn lighting? Professional studio equipment? Professional cameras? And make your own production? Yeah, I thought so. Well, come on down to Long Beach City College and sign up for a class in TV and radio broadcasting. Who is that guy in the, in the shot? Who is we have dedicated instructors. Hey, I'm trying to get some work done here. Leave me alone. Get out of here. Get out of here. I got important work to do. Come on, come on. Get out of here. And bunnies. Tons of bunnies. Bunnies? I love bunnies. Don't worry, old timer. We'll teach you how to use that thing machine. I'm signing up right now. Now that I got your attention, do you want to make movies or be a radio DJ? Yeah. I thought so. Well, come check out Long Beach City College's radio and TV department. Hey, stop playing with those buddies and get to class, young man. No, not that class. Here at LBCC, we have hands-on training, so ditch that boring lecture. Here, we'll teach you state-of-the-art equipment, and in no time, you'll have the right tools to make your very own movie. Don't want to make movies? What's wrong with you? Well, you could be a radio DJ and learn all those crazy, soundy stuff. Interested? Then check out our website or call. Look at you now. It looks like you're on your way to being the next Steven Spielberg. <laughs> Welcome back. The Lifestyle Expo was open all weekend for all fans to enjoy. Let's go to our very own Chris Johnson for the lowdown. I'm here at the Lifestyle Expo at the 37th Annual Toyota Grand Prix of Long Beach where families can, can come to escape the heat while having fun at the same time. Aside from the races, fans trying to beat the heat could go to the Lifestyle Expo in the Long Beach Convention Center. There are many displays and activities for all to enjoy over the race weekend. I got a chance to talk to a few of the fans and vendors at the event. This is great. I mean, it has a lot of activities for kids. Not only can the adults be out there watching the races and there's other exhibits, but kids have something to do. And I mean, as a matter of fact, some of these exhibits are so great that it <laughs> wears them out so they'll sleep good tonight. That's the best part. <laughs> yeah, it must be good to get out of the heat with the kids. It gets really hot out there to come in here. It's nice and air-conditioned. There's a lot of fun and activities. You know, I want to ask you, what are your favorite activities here in the, uh, in the convention center? The dueling. Dueling? Yeah. And the rock climbing. Who did you do? Did you did you two fight? Oh, my, yeah, my brother. I mean. And your brother? And what's your favorite part? The rock climbing. The rock climbing? How about you? Uh, the that the like the bungee. But the bungee's right there. Do you do backflips? Awesome. You know, I just want to ask. Uh, this is your first time to the Grand Prix? Well, actually, I've been coming to the Grand Prix for a while, but this is the first time I've actually been able to bring them and have them, you know, have activities. Because sometimes kids, they like races, but they only, you know, short attention span. Bring them in here. Uh, I don't have to drag them out of here, to be honest with me. <laughs> <laughs> the the uh, vehicle you see behind me is the Tandem Invader. This is a, uh, a reverse trike. It's a three-wheel motorcycle that puts the two wheels in the front, one big tire in the back, basically kind of offers the best features of a car and a motorcycle in one package. So this is considered a motorcycle? Yeah, licensed and registered as a bike. Really? I've never seen anything like it. Uh, about how fast does it go? Well, zero to 60 in less than four seconds. The quarter mile comes up in about 12, and top speed about 150 miles an hour. Are you guys having fun? You're beating the heat? You're coming in here to the Lifestyle Expo to, you know, have some fun with your son? It's a blast. I love it. It's so much fun. My son loves it. Oh, we're having a great time. He, he's been riding, jumping from uh, jumper to skylines and having a blast. You having fun, little man? Yes. What's your favorite part? When I did those flips. When you did the flips up here? Yes. Are you gonna get in? Are you gonna get into the jumpy thing right here? Maybe. <laughs> Which one's your favorite? Um, that one. That one, the obstacle. 
obstacle course? Yeah. What about racing the go-karts? Yeah, that one too. That All was pretty fun. Them. Did you show All the flag you got? Oh! Yeah. It's amazing. Are you liking the fast cars? Yes. Yeah? Are they pretty loud? Yeah. <laughs> The Expo has proven once again to be a very important part of the Long Beach Grand Prix, full of fun, family events, and good times. I'm Chris Johnson, back to you. Thanks, Chris. The main race was on Sunday, April 17th, and IE News reporter Keith Jacon was there to capture the action. I'm right here on the track, right in the middle of all the action, right at the beginning of the IndyCar series this year. I can't wait to see who's going to win. Let's check this out. The IZOD IndyCar Series was the most incredible race of the weekend, filled with remarkable energy and a stunning display of supercar power as well as a test of human endurance. Sunday drew in the biggest crowd of all four days of the 37th Annual Toyota Grand Prix of Long Beach. Anticipation built up as drivers revved up their 650 horsepower V8 engines, pushing their ultra lightweight aerodynamic machines across the track at dangerously high speeds for 85 rubber burning laps. Mike Conway took first place in this year's race, driving the Window World Cares car for the Andretti Autosport team. Conway was trailed closely by Ryan Briscoe, who came in second place, driving the Penske truck rental car for Team Penske. And finally, in third place, Dario Franchitti rounded off the top three racers for this year, driving the Target Chip Ganassi race car for the Target Chip Ganassi race team. I was fortunate enough to catch up with Michael Andretti, the team owner for Andretti Racing, to see what his thoughts were on this year's race. Mike Conway did a hell of a job, you know, coming back from where he was almost down to 20th position there, halfway through the race, and to come back, I mean, really good drive. Are there any post-race celebrations you have in mind now? <laughs> Didn't think about it. Maybe we'll go think about it after the press, press conference. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mr. Andretti. Appreciate you talking to Thank us. Thank you. Thanks. I also had an opportunity to speak with this year's winner of the 37th Annual Toyota Grand Prix of Long Beach, Mike Conway. Are there any post-race celebrations you got planned now for us? Well, yeah, I'm staying tonight, so, um, you know, definitely have a few glasses of wine with uh, my family and and the team hopefully and you know celebrate this win and then um, yeah you know it's back to work though you know it's Brazil only, only in a couple of weeks so uh, you know enjoy the moment savor it and um, on to the next one. How many championships is this now? Championship wins? Wins yes. Oh it's my first one first one in the IZOD IndyCar series so uh, you know hopefully there's many more to come and uh, just got to keep working away keep our head down and um, we, should, we should get there. Mike congratulations you deserve this very very much. Well, that about does it for this year's Toyota Grand Prix of Long Beach 2011. It's the last day, the race is over, the cars are being parked. Congratulations to Mike Conway, this year's winner of the Toyota Grand Prix of Long Beach. And also congratulations to Michael Andretti, the owner and sponsor of Mike Conway. Like I said, this weekend has been spectacular. We've met a numerous amount of people. The events were incredible. We haven't experienced anything like it so far. For IE News, I'm Keith Chacon. I'll see you next time. Thanks so much, Keith. Well, that's a wrap. We hope you have enjoyed IE News this semester. There are plenty of opportunities here at Long Beach City College. If you are interested in becoming a member of our news team here and produce great television, please call 562-938-4892. Have a great summer. I'm Fernando Henry. And I'm Kanaka Shwadani. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. And easy. Neck and neck at the race and next one. Oh, we have a collapse. That's gonna be frightening us squatting on there going backwards. <laughs> That's pretty close. Neck and Here's neck. Here's where it counts. Into the switch. Oh, we're losing some people.